In this example, we're going to make a simple pulley that's fully symmetrical over the X, Y, and Z origin. We'll use mirroring and uh, revolves to make sure this part is fully symmetrical. To get started, we'll create a new part and we'll create a 2D sketch on the X and Y plane. Our first step is to actually project the X axis. We'll click project geometry and we can't outright select the x-axis so we can go to origin and then click x-axis here and we can see it's highlighted yellow all right we'll accept that by right clicking and hit ok now we're going to draw our rough shape and we're going to revolve it over this projected geometry i'll draw my rough shape and I do want it to be on the y-axis here and horizontal. So I'll make sure that much of my geometry is automatic, but it doesn't produce anything I'm not looking for. We need to start dimensioning out this part. So a couple of the first steps to dimension, I'm going to use this bottom line here and that's going to be three quarters of an inch. This top line here is half an inch. That'll help sort of get some of the dimensions proper. This should be an eighth of an inch or 0.125. Now I need to separate all of these corner points from the projected X axis. So when I go to dimension normally, I click that in this point, I don't have the ability to symmetrically create this distance. So if I wanted a hole to be 0.5, then it could be 0.25 from this distance, but I wanna enter that dimension of 0.5 as this revolves around the X axis. So we can right click and check linear dimension. And if we pull our mouse over, see how we get a diameter symbol? I know that that distance is 0.5, and now I can enter in the distance I'm looking for, and that will be 0.75. If you have trouble with some of your uh, constraints, just make sure you change them as you go to make this process a little bit easier. I know I want this point to be vertical. I'll do this one more time, the distance from this point to this line. I'll right click, click linear dimension, and I'm going to place my next dimension, which is 1.25. I'll work my way through the rest of the dimensions in this fashion and should fully define this part. That should be all the dimensions needed and we can see it's fully constrained. I'm going to finish this sketch and I'm going to make sure I'm in that home view. You can always hit the home view on your view cube. I'm going to take this profile and revolve it around here, making sure that these dimensions are what aligns us to that projected X axis. To get started, I'll click the revolve and then ask for a profile. Mine was selected. For the axis, we'll just select that projected line and your part should come out. Make sure it's 360 degrees and you're going in one direction. I'm going to hit OK and that should create my first body. And if you notice here, I've got a solid body here. Now I know that this diameter was what I selected at 0.5 when I was projecting that diameter linear dimension over that X axis in my sketch. We're gonna take an entire feature or body and mirror it over a plane. If you look right now, I've created this on the XY plane. So that means the XZ plane is right at the back side of my part. So I'm gonna mirror this over this plane. 
I'm going to select mirror and where it says features, I'm going to select that revolution. For my mirror plane, I can select the backside or I can select the X, uh, YZ plane rather. So for the mirror plane, I'll select the YZ. And as I rotate my part, you can see it's mirroring right across the backside of this. I'll click OK. And I should get the majority of the part. We're going to put a few holes in this particular part. And since this is a symmetrical part, it should go through the whole thing. So we'll start a 2D sketch and we're gonna start it on that YZ plane again, right down the middle. It's a little tricky to start drawing because now we're in the middle of our part. So this is a good time to make the part wireframe. So under visual styles here, I just added it to my toolbar. I'm going to say wireframe. I'm going to project my Y axis and the Z axis. And I'll right click and hit OK. Now I'm going to create two construction lines to reference my geometry off of. One of them will be this projected geometry here. The second one is going to be an angular measurement. I don't care about the length. Make sure when you click this line, you can turn it into a construction line. You can just right click and click construction and see how it's dotted. Now I know it's not part of my drawing. The second construction is actually going to be a circle. So when I click, I can actually click construction up here before I draw and I'll make sure that's on the center. And I'm going to draw a 2.5 diameter circle. The intersection of these two lines is where I'll draw my circle. So this is no longer construction, so I'll uncheck. And I know that I want a hole that has a diameter of 0.5. The last step here is to create a dimension from this line to this line. I used D on the keyboard. And right now, I want that dimension to be 30 degrees off of that Z axis. That should fully constrain this part. And now I'm going to finish the sketch. I'll do a simple extrude. And where it says the, the distance, I can do symmetric or I'm going to click through all. And then I can do symmetric. I'll make sure that this is a cut operation. And I'll click OK. I'm going to go back to shaded with edges and we can see that our hole has been placed at 30 degrees. When I go to my home view, there's my hole. I can right click my extrusion and hit show dimensions. And this is a good time now to change the, the measurement of that hole. Once you change that dimension, you're gonna to need to update your part. So do a local update and then you can see your hole shifts positions. I'm going to create a circular pattern. It asks for a feature, so I'm gonna select that extrusion. It wants a rotation axis, and my rotation axis is going to be the X axis here. Or you could select one of your circular measure your circular pieces, but to make sure I'm gonna select the X axis. I want five holes over 360 degrees, and I'll click OK. And that quickly put all of my holes equally spaced in a circle around my pulley. Make sure you save this.